Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Uh, the one thing that I want to say before this video actually begins properly uh, is that I am going to be continuing on with the tanker, I'm also going to continue on with rogue mode, and I'm also going to continue on with the narrowboat challenge. Uh, but along with that, there'll probably be some of the other challenge that has just finished today, um, and um, yeah, I think that should be quite cool. So, there are a bunch of videos that I've got planned, hopefully I can get them all out. Uh, there might be two videos a day at some point, but, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this today, uh, because a few of you guys had some cool ideas. So, uh, one of those ideas was Gullwing Doors. Now, that would actually be a lot better than what we've got so far, because this is not good. Uh, this just doesn't work very well, um, as is. But, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and work on it a little bit today, and, um, yeah, hopefully it'll end up looking quite cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and check something out straight away. Uh, I want to actually see how fast we end up going um, and at what throttle lever angle level we actually need to be to be able to go that speed. So, right here we got the speed indicator uh, and we are now at 100 and 200 miles an hour. 180 miles an hour. Okay, so if we do this, sorry, meters per second, it's not miles an hour. Uh, we're at 200. We do this, we're still at 230, okay. 141, 240, 162, 260, 180 is to 260. Okay, so we can actually go max, you just gotta do it slowly. Okay, well, I mean, that works, and um, we actually seem completely fine, which is awesome. Yeah, okay, so, um, actually, you know, Towards the end of this video, I think we're going to try and figure out how long it takes us to get to the other island. So the, the, the big island, the one that was just added. Uh, because that's 30 kilometers away. And if we can get there pretty quickly, that would be amazing. Actually, is it 30 kilometers away from the Isle of Donk? I'm not sure. Um, but we'll try and figure that out. And um, yeah, we can actually see it right there. Oh, well then you got to look away from it to actually see it. But it's on our screens. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do those doors. Alright, so, um, we're actually literally just going to delete the entire top piece of this, because it is no longer necessary, and uh, is actually pretty useless. So, we're going to go ahead and delete all of that. We're going to delete all of this as well, and we're literally going to go ahead and get orange, and uh, we're actually going to put a middle piece in. Here we go. That's our little middle bar right there, um, which is completely fine. Yes, it is. Uh, right, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get this. We're going to go to here. We're going to go ahead and extend it. Whoa, no. Hold on. Let me try and figure it out. I can't actually see. <laughs> I can't see where the edge is. Um, it is here. There it is. All right, cool. We got it. So we want to actually extend this all the way backwards until we hit this point, I believe. Yes. want to go this way, and we want to go down. Okay, how far down, though? Um, let me figure that out. <laughs> Let me figure that out, please. Uh, this far down. Okay, right. So, these are going to be our doors. So, if I cut this, and then I paste it again, and then we go to the other side, and we do exactly the same thing. That's awesome. There we go. And then if we grab this... Oh, wait. Hold on. Delete this bit. There we go. If we grab this, and we make it the whole length of the train. There we go. Good. Uh, we actually make it go all the way to this bit as well. Actually, no, because we still need this door to work, so we'll leave it like that for now. That's good. Uh, if we go to the top, we actually need to do this on different sides, if that makes sense. So delete this and all of this. No, is that right? How does a hinge work in this? Actually, we can do it with pivots. Here we go. This might work fine. Um, so we grab this and we put that back in. We delete this piece and this piece. Same with this one and this one. And if we go to the back, same with this one and this one, we should be fine to just put this here. Uh-huh. Um, how do I want this to work? Yeah. Okay, so like this. No. The other way around. The other way around. Yes. All right, that's good. That's good. We're going to do the same thing here. So we want this to happen. Yep. All right, so we merge this with this. This with this, yes. Uh, this with this, and that with that. 
There we go. Yeah. Now our doors should work. So, um, we should have logic already somewhere. I think this is it. If we attach it to all of these, then the doors themselves, I think, should open. So we attach these to the logic. Boop and boop. We actually want probably some battery power to come to the front naturally. And then we'll attach that to there. Yeah. Okay, good. This might work. I'm not so sure, but we'll try. So, spawn it in. Hopefully the doors are still attached, which indeed they are. Doesn't have to be waterproof, because we're not transporting liquids. And if we go in, we go forwards. Just pull it forwards a tiny bit, just a touch. Come on, just a tiny bit. Are we moving? We're not moving. Now we are moving. Okay, right. Do, 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 do. 13, that's good. Okay, turn it off. And press 2. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now we can actually load things in. That is... Oh, why, why, how, are we go how are we going backwards? How is this even possible? And now we're going forwards again. What is happening? Anyway, go ahead and do that. And we should stop, which indeed we have. And that is pretty cool. So if we go out the back of this door... Yeah. Yeah, we can actually put loads of things in here. That's awesome. We might want them to be separate, though. So, uh, like, this side should do one thing and the other side should do another. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, we're going to paint the inside to try and make it the right colors. Um, and that is nice. We're also going to increase the fuel tank size. Because at the minute, it is not large. It is actually quite small. Let's have a little look. See how, see how much it is. So we jump inside. We open this door. And the fuel tank is 2,800. So that's pretty small. Um, and with our traveling, how far we're traveling, uh, we kind of want that to be bigger. Yeah, we do. Um, so we should add an extra fuel tank. Or we should make a fuel tank bigger. Or something. <laughs> um, we should definitely do something. So we can actually add an extra fuel tank here. Uh, because it is a empty space with nothing in it. And we can do that. So this can actually be our fuel tank. Um, I do actually like the extra bogies. Um, if it was up to me, I would actually have four all in one. Uh, but we have to do it in two. So I think we might leave it in two. Yeah, although I do kind of want to increase the size of this. I want it to go... Let's do it. Let's do it and see what it looks like. Um, if it doesn't look too good, we'll change it, but it should look fine. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and grab this, bring it down to here. That's awesome. Do this piece as well. That's also awesome. There we go. Do it to the front. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Here we go. All the way to the front. And attach this to here. Yo, so, we've actually made it a lot deeper. Um, which is alright, actually. That is completely fine. We're going to drag this all the way down to here. And we're going to try and figure out how to get the fuel into it. <laughs> how do we get the fuel in there? Uh, and it's easy. We just do this. Here we go. Is it easy? Can I even do this? I don't think it is easy. <laughs> uh, ooh. Yeah. It's not easy. Interesting. Very interesting. Um... You know what? It's actually okay to have a bit of a wall on the inside. It is. It is okay. Um, there we go. There we go indeed. Okay, right. Do that. Do that. Good. Um, build this across here, like so. Fine. Wait, what are these attached to? Wait, 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 wait. Attach that to there. Oh, this is, this is fine, actually. Yep, do this with this color. There we go. Um, and then we need to fill in this piece. Yeah, and we need to delete this. Uh, yeah, and then delete that bit. Yeah, and then that's our fuel tank. Grand Dabby Dozy. All right, actually, just leave those two there. There we go. And that is awesome. Our fuel tank is now mahoosive. It's huge. There we go. Nice. I'm actually really pleased with this. This is good. This is very good. 
Uh, right, okay, so, with that being done, let's go ahead and spawn it in. Last time it was 2,800, which would get us quite far. And this time it is 26,088. So, a lot better. Uh, or a lot more, we should say. Uh, we still got pretty much exactly the same space that we had before. Uh, if we open this with two, I think we can do it in here. Yep, that's fine. Um, it's only this that's taking up a little bit of room, and I think it looks alright. So, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Uh, well, that means that we can actually do um, some transportation stuff with it, which is pretty cool. And I'm really happy with it. So, yeah. Now, um, we could add lights if we wanted to, which we do want to. But what I want to actually try out now is I want to see how fast we go with all this extra weight. Uh, and I want to see how long it takes us to get to the uh, new island, Sawyer's Island. So, uh, we're going to see what happens. Okay, so because we don't actually have... Um, uh, lights yet. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Press 1 and we're gonna start going forward. We should probably close these. Oh, that is actually really cool. They're really nice. Don't explode. Don't explode. We we explode when we speed up too quickly. So... Yeah, 260. Alright, we're going a decent speed here. And we are using quite a bit of fuel. Quite a bit of fuel. Yeah. But we're going to make it to Sawyer's Island anyway, so... Look at it. Look at me. Hello. Um, yeah, we need. We definitely need um, some lights on this thing. I probably want to change the livery just a bit. I think it looks a bit dull. It does look a bit dull. Um, but that's okay. Yep. So we've actually took the, the route to Sawyer's Island here. Instead of the Arctic, which... Uh, Sawyer's Island only being 30 kilometers away isn't isn't too bad but you can work out from how long it takes us to get to here um, as to how long it would take us to get to the Arctic so this one's only 30 kilometers and the Arctic is around a hundred so um, yeah you can work that out oh I just heard a I just heard a bang oh we've hit the side we we actually um, we broke a little bit there uh, which is a little bit of an issue because now we've actually got the opportunity for fuel to be leaking out <laughs> We definitely do. Um, but we're there. We're already here. That's awesome. I don't know what a safe speed is for this. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Um, but I think that if we had the smaller fuel tank in the middle at the bottom, and we had the extra bogies uh, closer together in the middle, it actually makes it stick to the tracks a lot better around corners. I don't think it lets the body sort of warp to the side. Um, but actually, we've made it here completely fine. We are probably hemorrhaging fuel, uh, which we're at 22,000, so we've we've already used all the fuel that we had before, uh, before we increased the fuel tank size. Um, but, but, we are going to make it still. And yeah, we're already there, so um, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. I'm very pleased with that. The issue now, as well, is that we're not going to have any braking power. Oh, we're going to have very little, because it's only the rear bogey. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and cut power to this. Press 1, turn that off. And our speed is down to 60. It actually s slows down very quickly. Like, insanely quickly. Um, and then we apply the brakes. Which is actually being done by the front one, even though it's broken. Uh, but now we stopped. There we go. Yeah. There's water in there? I don't know how. But, um, there you go. That actually works pretty well. We are at the island. Yeah. It slows down perfectly fine. Uh, it does get damaged a little bit, as you guys can see. Um, that's fine. That's okay. Right, let's go ahead and add some lights. Just a few little lights. And, uh, yeah. We might paint the side orange. Just full orange. Maybe. I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that for a, uh, a little track. So we went from here down to here. Then round... And all the way up there, and then all the way back down. That's an interesting track right there. Yeah. Right, so, uh, we obviously need some lights, or a little bit of lighting. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we luckily have this bit in the middle, which is going to allow us to put lights in. Um, in a nice little position, I think. Uh, so, we'll grab lights. There we go. 
We'll put them on this bit, like this, and they shall be orange. Um, one at that end, and one at this end. Uh, ooh, here? Yeah, we'll go here. And then one, two, three, four, actually, um, we'll just do it on the dot every time. Um, so one there, one here, one here, yes. One here, yes, and that'll do. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we obviously don't want them to be orange, because that's just not right. <laughs> um, but we'll not make them white either. We'll actually make them, like, grey. Quite quite dark lights, um, but that's okay. So, yeah, we'll do this, this, uh, keep it going along. This, this, and this, and this. There we go. That's pretty good, yeah. So we obviously need a button for that. Uh-huh, yes we do. And we're gonna put that there. Yeah. We have to jump up there. That's a bit annoying. Slightly annoying. Uh, but that's okay. So, button. We actually probably want the button to be, um... I don't know how to explain it. We want the button to be on the outside rather than on the inside so that we can turn it on before we go in there. I think that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so, connect all of these lights to the electricity. Yes, there we go. They're all connected. Good. Um, connect the button to all of the lights, and then we'll label the button to do the right thing. And then I want to check it out. I want to see if it works or how well it works. So, spawn it in. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and make it pitch black. It is bright in here, but we can move forwards. Do 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 do. Do do do. Press one. Go. There we go. So we should start moving. Right, now it's quite dark. Very dark. Now if we press this button, it is quite bright. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What happens if we do this while we're driving? Hold on. Look at this. Oh, that's actually really dangerous. That's very dangerous. Okay, let's not do that. That is pretty good light though, I think. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Right, so, go ahead and close this door. Um... <laughs> it just looks weird, doesn't it? Just looks a little bit weird. I guess, actually, if we're driving this thing, we can go slow through the the harsh bends. Like, um, well, actually, I don't know. I think it was here. I think it was here that we got damaged. So, uh, if you actually are a driver and you are staying in the driver's seat, you should be able to see that coming and um, sort that out. So, I think we're actually fine. Also, 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 I keep saying also a lot. Um, but actually, if we get hit by a tsunami, even though we are not, um, actually, let's test that out. Let's test that out. Here we go. Tsunami. Let's make it daytime. So we don't need to test the lights anymore. Wind? Yeah. Why not? Rain? Yeah. Sure. Right. So, even though these doors aren't sealable, this thing should be completely fine to pass straight through a tsunami. The train itself should be fine. We should survive, and the engine shouldn't die. At least that's the plan. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, we will end up going through it. There's a tsunami right there. So, we're going to go through this little turn right here. I actually really like the cockpit of this thing, too. It's really nice. Uh, we're obviously not going max speeds. We're going, like, 100 meters per second slower. Um... And here's the corners. This is where we got damaged. So... We didn't get damaged this time. Good. Uh, well, that's awesome. So, at this speed, we're completely fine to do those things. Good. Very good. Uh, the tsunami is eating the tracks in front of us. Our engines are still running. We're going to go ahead and full throttle now. 250. And we are going to plow straight into this. Our engine actually blew up because we ended up going 300 meters per second. Three, <laughs> what? How did that happen? We end did you see that? For like a split second that went to 300. We actually sped up going through a tsunami. I don't get it. I don't understand. Physics. Physics are broken, I'm Um, But yeah, I guess. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's, yeah, interesting. I don't know why that happened. Anyway, cancel that. That's okay. And, um, we're gonna take it back to the base. Yes. 
Okay, we're gonna add a few more lights. So we obviously need the front ones to work. So let's um let's get those working on I don't know, three. Yeah, three will work. Okay. Uh three is gonna be headlights. Also, I can hear I can hear things. Uh I think I can hear the trees moving? That's really weird. Let's just make it more atmospheric and we'll actually be able to see. There we go. Look at this. How interesting is that? Okay, let's not. Um, that, I don't actually like that. I don't like that at all. Because these trees are, are moving in the wind, we're getting the noise from that. That's strange. In the build menu. There we go. We fixed it. Okay, cool. So... Uh, we obviously need some lights in here. Uh, we need some equipment in here as well. So we'll add some equipment. And that should be it. So, uh, light is going to go in the roof. In the center. We probably only need one light, actually. We do probably only need one light in here. Uh, which means that we also need a button. Grab a button. There we go. We'll grab this button right here. And we'll put it right there. Okay, good. Uh, connect this to this, and that is literally all we need. There we go. That to there. That to there. We've got a light. Um, yeah. What is this? What was that? Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, right. So, we can do this. We could actually do that, but, um, I guess that works. Yeah, I guess, I guess it does. Uh, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, we got our buttons for the sides. We don't have a light in here. I guess we need one of those. So we'll just quickly pop a light in. Um, and then we need a button for it. We do. I think, actually... I was going to say, we could connect it to these ones. Because you only need the light on when you're in the room. Um, maybe a player sensor. Although I've never used one before, so... Is it just called a sensor? What is it called? Player sensor. Here we go. So if we do this, and we put it in the room in the roof, I guess. Yeah, so we've, we've put one here. There we go. And we... Uh, it doesn't need electricity, but if we put that to there, I think that's fine. Yeah, what is this? Number detected. Well, we don't need that. Um, but there we go. So the power, yeah, okay. If we spawn it in, and we go in that room, the light turns on. Hey! Very good. The lights work in here, and the light works in here. Okay, right. Good. Uh, also, press 3. Those lights don't actually have power. They don't. No, they don't indeed. Also, two of them are orange and two of them are white, uh, which is interesting. Very interesting. Not a problem, though. Um, I actually like the fact that they're two different colors, which is probably a little bit weird, but at the same time... I guess completely fine. Yeah, so, right. We press 3. Those lights turn on. If we make it nighttime, Those lights are quite nice. And we can indeed see. Perfect. Right, well. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and actually suggesting a bunch of these ideas. You guys are pretty good for that. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. And goodbye.